Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingwebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a cron job for Magento in cPanel. Keep in mind that if you're not using cPanel and if you're using another uh, control panel such as Plesk or if you're using a web hosting account that has their own uh, uh, custom uh, control panel, a lot of this uh, can still be used uh, with your uh, existing uh, control panel all you will really have to do is just have to locate uh, the cron job manager in that uh, control panel but if you're using cPanel this basically provides a lot more detail uh, so what is a cron job? A cron job is actually a scheduled task uh, Magento actually has a lot of scheduled tasks that it does for example it can uh, update uh, price rules, it can send out newsletters, it can uh, generate Google sitemaps, it can send out alerts and notifications, it can uh, update currency rates, and it can uh, clean up your database uh, all automatically without you having to do anything. Uh, this actually is uh, very convenient and it saves you time. So uh, to start, what you will have to do is you will have to locate your uh, cron.php file within uh, your Magento installation directory. For example, this is actually very simple. You can go to uh, your file manager and then uh, just locate where that file is, cron.php. Keep in mind that if Magento is installed in a subdirectory, uh, your uh, path here will actually be your domain dot com forward slash the name of the subdirectory forward slash cron.php if uh, your Magento is installed in the root of your site then it would be your site dot com forward slash cron.php so basically that's the only thing that you have to uh, edit here and that's the part that says uh, www.yoursite.com and then this path right here to the cron.php file uh, so uh, now I will demonstrate how uh, to actually set up the cron. Simply uh, go to your cPanel, go to the advanced section, click on cron jobs. If you'd like an email sent whenever the cron job runs, you can uh, enter in your email here. Personally, I don't like uh, receiving cron job emails. This, of course, is up to you. It can, however, be useful to receive emails when you first run the cron job. This way, if something goes wrong, uh, the email will actually uh, contain error details so that you can diagnose those errors. As for the time, you simply copy each of these values separately into the corresponding fields. And as you can see, it's asterisk, 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 asterisk. So you don't really have, you can just paste like that. And then you need to uh, copy the, the whole uh, line of code here. What this basically does is it's curl and uh, curl sort of acts like a uh, almost like a browser. You know, it goes out and it visits the site similar to uh, how you would visit a site in your own browser. It just does things automatically and it is able to load uh, the page automatically for you. And when that page loads, uh, Magento goes ahead and uh, processes all the information that's on the page and all the functions and everything that needs to be done and it completes uh, those tasks for you automatically. So you basically uh, paste that here and then where it says uh, yoursite.com for example in my case it's uh, isaveplaza.com and uh, I just leave the forward slash before the cron.php because uh, Magento is installed in my root directory. So uh, this is all you have to do. And uh, you click on add new cron job. And your cron was added and that's that. Uh, your uh, schedule tasks are there and uh, Magento will start working for you. Uh, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos, and be sure to visit creatingawebstore.com.